What up? Today we're gonna work on this. Uh, Kawasaki KFX 700 is what I play with off road when I'm not uh, driving F Zomp 50. Not running really, really well. Uh, I think it's in the carburetors. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull the carbs off and clean them, put it back on, and see if she runs right. I was able to get one fuel bowl off from the rear carburetor so I could get to the internals up there. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get this one off because I got hose in the way and I got uh, maybe a rocker adjuster or something there that's in the way. So I can't get to the bottom screw here. I can't get this top screw up here either because the frame and this thing's in the way. Um, so I can get to two of the screws, but I can't get all I can't get all four of them. So new plan. I'm gonna pull the carburetors off the uh, intake tubes and hopefully I can just roll it enough to get to the other ones. If not, man, these carburetors have to come out. And the more I'm digging into this, trying to make it easier on myself, I'm actually making it much more difficult on myself, so I might just go ahead and pull the carbs completely out. All right, well, that actually worked. I was able to uh, loosen the uh, carburetor off the boots, or the intake tubes there, which I Put some blue shop rags in to keep stuff from falling down in there. But I was able to actually turn the carburetors up enough. I actually get to all the internals here, so I will pull those out and rinse them out because it's in these tubes I was having the problems. But I'm gonna pull them all out and make sure everything's rinsed out real well since I can get access to it and uh, put it back together. Hope she runs right. Here's the emulsion tube here. Got all these little holes in it. When you get a little bit of sand or fine grit or whatever that makes its way into the carburetor, it plugs all those fine holes, and that's when it stops running. Alright, you clean these things out, just a simple process. Spray a little uh, carb cleaner through it, you hit it with a little bit of air. And when you're done, you should be able to hold it up in the light. And if I can get the focus, focus, focus. And of course, it doesn't want to focus. So when you hold it up into the light, you know it's clean. You should be able to look through these little pinholes. And they line up on the other side. So when they're clean, you should be able to look in this side and see out the other side, see daylight. So, so that's how you know it's clean. It's hard to get the angle just right. Oh, yeah, you see right there, you see the flesh through there. And that's how you know you got all the grid out.
let her warm up a little bit and uh, take it around the yard and see if it uh, see if it's running better. Definitely running better. The carb cleaning worked. Uh, don't hate on my little wheelies. My yard is a lot smaller than it looks in the video. Uh, coming up on some of the trees are coming a whole lot closer than I wanted to. Uh, try not to tear the yard up either. The wife don't like it. So I'd just like to thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, or none of it. it don't really matter to me. But uh, again, thanks for watching anyway if you made it this far in the video. You have a great day. Go get your hands dirty.